<laughs> Good Friday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. TGIF, beer 30 today at 4.30-ish, uh, Mountain Standard Time, remember that. And uh, what else? Uh, Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. Right now, just right on by. It went right on by. So if there's anything you want to do, you better get busy doing it. Never worry about what you cannot change. And what else? Hey, Google, tell us a joke. What do you call a cold canine? A chili dog. <laughs> Cute. And now for a little positive energy. Growth is the only evidence of life. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Okay, well I must be trying because I've, I've made a few mistakes. But having said that, I've been living in an RV for a long time, as you all know. And I probably will continue doing that. In fact, yesterday I was sitting outside thinking, and when I get back to Texas, if I, st if I haven't sold my home base, uh, I may uh, make some home improvement, uh, make some improvements there. I'm going to put a uh, put a cover for a uh, you know one of those Eagle carports for the car and stuff to get it out of the weather and where I can just walk right under the cover and back into the little house or in my RV. So we're I'm thinking about that. Just just a dream, you know what I mean. You got to dream. Without dreams people perish with dreams people perish people perish but anyway having said that what else uh for a nooner today uh, i'll do a, a video starting the boondocking thing i got a couple of boondocking videos and then uh on and on we go guys <clears throat> but anyway what else um how about some comments rusty all right how about that uh gary mayo oh i forgot hey google what's the temperature the current temperature in Capitan is 59 degrees. 59 with a high of 80, which is pretty nice for this time of the year. Gary Mayo says, camera has very nice, saturated, vibrant colors, especially the blue sky. Yeah, the, the uh, Google Pixel 6 uh, does pretty good videos. Yeah, yeah, that's why I got it. And uh, But anyway, moving right along. Thank you, Gary. Sharon Aston also says, I like them also on the Tiny Home Home Depot. Boondocking with Dennis on the Bedtime Reader. Good morning, Rusty. Uh, check out Dennis's channel, Boondocking with Dennis. He looks like a great book, book holder. Hope you're having a good adventure today. Well, I try to have one every day, Dennis. Enjoy your day, too. A&W Adventures. Good setup, Rusty. I got a free Kindle Fire and didn't like it, I prefer a good old book in hand. Yeah, there's something about a book. I, I don't, uh, I've got a Kindle. I've got two of them, actually. I have one for my my noon or afternoon book and one for my nighttime book because I've got two different flavors of books on each one. Do I read a lot? Not really. I, I might read for an average of an hour, hour and a half a day in that range. Uh, but anyway, move, moving along, A&W Adventures. Oh, I already read that. Thank you. Uh, this is Sheridan Gay. I like physical books, and thanks for the advice on the book thingy. <laughs> it's a thingy. <laughs> Der Trixel Der Trixel says, useful. Thank you, Der Trixel from the North Sea in Germany. Um, Prost. Adrian Amaya says, thank you, Rusty. I was thinking of doing that drive again soon, coincidentally. Uh, that was the drive over to uh, Ruidoso from here, Capitan, New Mexico. Uh, King for a day says, I prefer real books. The feel and smell of the paper is just part of reading to me. However, for travel, e-books are much more convenient and portable, not as heavy. Yeah, you, you can <clears throat> take a ton of books with you on a Kindle, that's for sure. Thank you. Brandon or Brenda McChristy, that's neat. I don't have a Kindle. Not, not many people do. I, well, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of people. This is on a, a video I did a long time ago on the patio steps at my place near Kingsland, Texas that I no longer have. Melissa Pecora says, cutest man ever. Well, uh, there must have been somebody else in the video. <laughs> anyway, I noticed that the shirt I had on there is the same shirt I have on now. Uh, Rita Woodfork. Woodfork. I have one of these that I used that I... I have one of these I used to use in my office, great book holder. Yeah, they, they do okay. Yeah, that little uh, uh, 
thing is, uh, I used it last night, worked fine. Uh, this is Joe Frugal. Just ordered the metal one. Arthritis makes it very difficult to hold the book for a long time. A real book is just so easy to find. Love Reader's Digest hardcover books. Yeah, they, and they're, they weigh 10 pounds, don't they? Uh, this is Alvin Masso. Good idea on the book reader thing. A lot of comments on that. I was surprised. D. Anderson. Rusty has it going on with all the book holders, snacks and whatnot. Yeah, well, it's just a habit, you know, and, and uh, fortunately it's not a bad habit. Uh, and my evening snack is uh, usually pretty light. I get, I try to make it just a light little snack while I'm reading. Reading. While I'm reading. <laughs> Levi Brewer, if it wasn't for reading great books through my life, and now I don't don't know what I would have done with myself, it takes you to the place you're reading about. Yeah, and you can travel all over the universe right here. You don't have to go anywhere, man. Just pick up a book, and if it's a good writer, man, they can take you to the nicest places. Tilden Child, Kindle is great, but I like real books better. Yeah, I do too. I feel that way. I mean, a Kindle is great I, I, because you can enlarge the type. And if you, there's a word that they use in the book that you don't know the meaning of, you can just touch it and it gives you the definition. Or if it's a foreign word, uh, it'll translate some uh, languages right there. You know, James Sams, hello, goat man. When you talk about all the bad things on TV networks, you are describing to a T the way Roger Ailes designed Fox News that began in 1996. Well, all of them are, it's all about money, guys. Everybody knows that. It's not about news and honesty and credibility and so forth. It's about money. You know, if they don't get the ratings up, they don't get the ads, and they don't get the ad revenue. So believe me, man, it's big business. RV Living with the Geezer, check that channel out. It says Forrest and his helper are a couple of pros. Dangerous work, well done. It is definitely dangerous work when you start dropping trees that are 60, 80, 100 feet tall. <clears throat> Carmen Hendrickson, saddens, anyway, no, well, you know, you're talking about cutting the trees now. Well, you know, it, it's the way it is. Billy Brown, I had already ordered that same lap tray about five days ago. Great minds think alike. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the tray, the uh, bedside table thing, uh, I've had that for probably, gosh, I don't know, six, eight, ten years maybe. C. Boyle says, I love mom. Thought I was the only one. He always describes what they're eating in detail. Read his autobiography only because the prose is divine. <laughs> it says read or read. I can't remember. But anyway, no, he is good. And, you know, I like, I like short stories. And he writes probably the best short stories of anyone for me, that I've read. Uh, Tom Sharp, uh, good thing you got your eye fixed. Yeah, the cataract surgery in my right eye really helped because I can read without glasses now. Uh, that looks like some small print to me. It is some small print, and I can read it very easily, which is very nice. Almost 74, so I need the large print now. Picked up a Samsung S6 Lite and do Kindle with it. Works great. Stay cool, Rusty. Thank you, Tom Sharp. Good luck with your reading. Amy, nice setup, Rusty. Yeah, it's it works for me. Uh, this is on Salt Creek Inn, Capitan, New Mexico. Uh, well, I'm not going to read that one, Levi. Thank you for your comment. He stayed there and uh, apparently uh, wasn't too thrilled, but be that as it may, uh, it's a local business. It's a, a bed and breakfast thing. Anyway, you so grouchy, I'm not sure how handy the book holder would be. You would still have to move each page to go under the holders, probably using both hands. I read too fast for that. I read on my phone and iPad with the Kindle app, swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah, well, you do you and, and I do me, and that's that's the only difference. Uh, Patricia Alford, uh, I used, I've used my Kindle reader or Kindle apps on a tablet so much that I've unconsciously tapped or swiped a regular book expecting the page to turn. <laughs> no, I, I can see how that could happen because, yeah, you get used to just doing this, you know. <clears throat> yeah, or, or done a pinch to zoomed in large text and stuff. Yeah, I, I know. I Trust me, I, 
I could see how that would be a, a habit. Now, one thing that might be adversely affecting your Kindle's performance is that the 3G network is no longer available to download books. Well, that's not it. I mean, th this is a 4G LTE area, and so that's not it. But thank you, Patricia. Enjoy your day. Play hooky. I was just looking at tabletop book holders on Amazon, then come to YouTube, and you have a video about one. <laughs> well, a great minds think alike. Is that one? Uh, this is Victor somebody. I'm going to get rid of him. I, I don't know what it is. It's it, I can't even read it, man. It's uh, I don't know what it is, but we're going to get this guy gone. Matilda needs a little snack. It's not really negative or anything. It's just, it's just weird. Uh, anyway, Matilda says thank you for the weird comment, and that'll be a, just just one waffle with some strawberry syrup. That's all you need. Glenn, Glenn McNeely, thumbs up. Brian, I use a Kindle. All the books I want for free download from the library don't even have to go to the library. Yeah, and you can download books from your local public library, you know, believe it or not. Got a lot of re replies on that one. Joan Summerfield, nothing like reading a real book in hand. Uh, nothing like reading a real book, a, re a real in hand book. I'll get it right here. To learn something new or just relax after a long day. Thanks for sharing, Rusty. Yeah, uh, books books are neat, you know. And I, in fact, sometimes I go all day. I, I don't even turn the television on, you know. I mean, even, I don't even watch any YouTube, you know. I just uh, read and uh, uh, listen to music. I was listening to. Uh, let me see if I can tell you the name of the person. Percy Faith, I think, was the name of the 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 music I was listening to yesterday. <coughs> Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, Percy Faith. He's got a uh, like two hours, two and a half hours of Percy Faith. Good stuff. It's good stuff for me. For you, you'd be, you'd call it elevator music. Most of you. Uh, Joan Summerfield. Oh, I read that. Ken P. A. Can't beat the iPad for reading. Uh, and then Brian says, too heavy. Uh, well, you know, put it on a stand, I guess. This is Dia's Frugal Life. I could go for some nachos. Yeah, I fixed some, something like that. It's really, really easy. Or else I'll, I'll just put some uh, Velveeta cheese uh, on some uh, chips. Just, I mean, like maybe eight or ten chips. Put a little piece of Velveeta cheese and then just melt the cheese and, and uh, in, in the oven, and, and then that's my snack. Yeah, I try to keep it light. I, and then a uh, popcorn is good for a snack. Uh, Scotty Thompson, cool video talk, cool video talk tech, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Harley Glide 03, Harley reporting, Ranger Harley reporting for duty. Been on a sabbatical, trying to stay cool. Stay safe, Rangers. Happy summer. Thank you. Thank you, Harley Glide 3. Olivia Grayson, Kappa, I don't know what that means, uh, D. Anderson, maybe Rusty could plant another tree, there is, there is, there is that, is younger and stronger, whatever, you know, uh, D. Anderson says, I hope no horned toes were harmed by the, the tree, whatever, and yeah, and that's the first time I've ever seen one here, uh, st the steaming bean, uh, it says, almost a week has passed since your beer 30, I have continued reflecting on your story of Andreas. He was a parental figure to you and may explain why you don't exhibit any bigotry on your channel, which I appreciate. If we are not indigenous, we came from immigrants and refuge, refugees. Looking forward to the next Beer 30. Peace of mind. Peace, my friend. Yeah, peace to you, Steaming Bean. Thank you. Scotty Thompson again. Cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. <clears throat> Julie Muley on a, on the deal says, "Does he haul it away? Yeah, he haul, they haul it away and clean up all. They, when they leave, it's like they weren't even here, man. Uh, save some split wood for a fire ring. Uh, that fire that those trees do not make good firewood. It stinks. The, the the smoke stinks. All of us rangers can bring our guitars and have a sing sing along." I know you have the voice for it. Well, I'm, I'm not big on sing-along. I mean, I might sing when I'm driving down the highway, but I'm not. But we'll see. But thank you. Yeah, he does haul it away in answer to your question. Wayman Samang, that's good work. And a very big tree falling, LOL. Uh, anyway, War Road says, yeah, they looked unhealthy. Well, you know, it says that uh, 
Anyway, it's done. Uh, the Dogman Chronicles, thanks for the video, Rusty. You're very welcome. This is on comment call, Mimi is me. Happy birthday, Rusty. Treat yourself by enjoying your quiet. Well, my birthday's not till July the 14th. I don't know how that got started, that it was yesterday. The yesterday was, or the day that was done was July the 7th. Uh, no, my birthday is July the 14th. I was born in 1945. Jack J. Charles said he paid 15 to 17 for that 20-foot R-pod with a slide. He was going to sell it in a few years. I bet he made out okay. Uh, yeah, he may have. Uh, Greg Prince, lots of firewood right there now. Unfortunately, it does not make good uh, firewood, the, the trees. It says, Beer 30 here in Estero, Florida, Rusty. That young man is a working son of a gun. Uh, yeah, thank you, Greg. He also said he ought to make a chair out of the stumps. Well, they're all in the wrong place. And the reason, what I did, I had him uh, cut down the, the the height of to the height of the fence, you know, because they they do help hold up the fence. And besides that, they'll 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 bloom back out again. They'll shoot uh, limbs back out again. Uh, uh, this is Ghana Potty Hedge, plant more trees. Okay, J Joy Seven. Uh, it says I hated to have it done, but I had to have my beautiful maple tree cut down last year too many limbs were dying well you know if it becomes a hazard uh you know you got to do what you got to do uh george herman that dog has a flat tire yeah i noticed that dog had, had a thorn but that's uh i told uh uh the the uh, got the owner about it <clears throat> i'm not going to try to take a thorn out of a strange dog no i don't believe i'm going to do that glenn mcneely dang that young man is good even ammo knows when to move have a great afternoon sir yeah you bet uh, Carpenter Helper X. Hey, Rusty, how about helping the cute little dog with a hurt leg? It wasn't a hurt leg. He just had a sticker in it, I think. Uh, anyway, Sashi Smith, inspiring. Best of business growth for a forest. Yeah, uh, that was uh, on the, yeah, he's, he's a nice guy. He caught that. I can't believe he saw the thing, you know, because he was up in a tree. Next thing you know, he's down. He picks up. He, I see him running around, he, and he caught that horn toad. Yeah, that was pretty good. Walter Mattel or Matai, whatever. Uh, he says he built a 16 by 24 tiny home on a slab, finished inside for 6,500. I believe you could do that. I do. I believe, I believe you could finish. Oh, yeah. yeah it, I believe that. Joe Frugal, great job, tree men. Yeah, it was a great job. Uh, we'll do three or four more here, and then we'll shut her down. Stephen, ah, yes, the sound of a chainsaw, the sound of progress. <clears throat> This is M-C-L-Y-S-A-G-H-T-1. Of course, he will say they're dying. He only gets paid for the ones he has to cut down. Uh, well, no, uh, he, he didn't say it. Uh, he, there was a third party that was telling me about that. Uh, no, he, he, I just, I, once I found out there was a problem, I contacted him. And at F, great job, young man. You can tell this ain't his first rodeo for sure. Yeah, we'll do two more and we'll shut her down here. Stephen, great opportunity to find the stuff that doesn't work or need to be put in order, put on order. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, when I was out boondocking, I found something I needed to order. <clears throat> Dare Trixa says, greetings, greetings to you. Uh, anyway, Aaron K says, great job, Forrest and crew. Smart to take care of it now, Rusty. I'm sure your neighbor feels better, too. You will see more of the beautiful sky now as well. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, yeah, the one that I cut down over there, I probably uh, could have waited. Uh, but it's the tr whole tree is leaning towards that way, so I went ahead and did it. But anyway, having said, it, said that, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a Friday, Beer 30 Friday, this is Rusty78609 saying, Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon and buy whatever you choose. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, a free, a free deal, you know. And then what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack 
and the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is eat less, that's it. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. Do it several times a day, man. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Well, because you'll feel better immediately. And you may live longer, healthier, because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So common sense says, add good ingredients. Problem solved, right? Right. So, yeah, but the, the, don't watch the news. The news is totally negative. That's my opinion. You do you, I do me. I, I, I say don't watch the news at all, okay, period. Anyway, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be something related to boondocking, and on and on we go, guys. Enjoy your Friday, and we'll talk again at beer 30. Adios, amigos, bye-bye.